Hello everyone and welcome back to Desha Home Studio. Today is just a quite a quick little class and we are working on opening into the upper back, a little bit the shoulders and maybe some lightish back bends, maybe deeper ones if you want. So um, it's quite a fun, fluid, creative flow and I hope you enjoy it. Um, two blocks I always say are really helpful and then anything else that you usually bring to, to the mat to practice with to support you. Okay, and then we'll start right away. We're going to start in a supine position. So you're going to place one block down. This block will go here just uh, at the tips of the shoulder blades and the other block is going to go for your head. So just lay down, make sure that block is nice and um, uh, straight. So it's equally pressing into each side of the back and then support your head. It should feel nice. Often if the block is too low, it doesn't feel so good. And then here you can extend your arms in a loose frame above your head and then extend your legs out. Go Shavasana legs for a moment. And then you can just settle in. We won't be here too long, but close your eyes down. If it feels better to relax your arms besides you, you can do that too. Close the eyes down and just take a moment to ground your body. Feel the ground beneath your heels, your calf muscles, your buttocks. Feel that nice arch in your lower back, but a gentle drawing down of the tailbone. And then feel the upper back nicely and supported by your block, as well as the head. And then just allow yourself to get a little bit heavier and a little bit more held in this shape. Allow the blocks, the ground to hold you and soften a little bit. And then let's start to take fuller, deeper breaths in and out through the nose. You'll notice when the chest is like this, you can really breathe right into the top of the lungs as you feel them sort of stretch and broaden with your inhale. Breathe right the way up to the very top. And then as you exhale, feel the way the navel pulls down towards the spine. There can even be a slight tucking of the tailbone down towards the heels. And we'll just take three more breaths in through the nose. Big breath, expansive inhale. And a complete exhalation. Two more, fully in through the nose. And fully out through the nose. And this time on your inhale, reach your arms back, reach your heels forward. Stretch, stretch, get super long. Take a nice deep breath in. And then on your exhale, bend your knees, ground your feet and lift up into a little crunch. So just reach the arms forward. You'll be being supported by the, the block beneath your upper back. And then you can track your heels in or press your heels into the mat for a little more traction. And then inhale, we're going to rise up. Can you lift your arms up and above your head? Feel into the echo of the block in the upper back, that nice open feeling there. And then on your exhale, let's take right ankle or shin in front of the left. Take a deep breath and exhale, length and forward. You can bring your hands here into Hakini Mudra. We're just sort of tilting the torso forward, hinging at the hips. You don't have to go too far. Try to think about lengthening your spine. Okay, and then inhale, rise up, untuck your toes, move your blocks out the way, go into a reverse tabletop. So feet down, hands down, heart up, big breath, lift and open through the shoulders. Should feel quite nice. Ground your feet, big breath. And then exhale, sit your butt down and take your left shin in front of the right. Arms rise up, breath in. Exhale, hinge at the hips, lengthen the torso forward. Stay here for a couple moments as you firm down the buttocks. As you curl the toes back towards the shin line. Three, two, and one. Rise back into reverse tabletop, hands down, feet down, chest up, breath in. And then exhale, lower your buttocks down, cross your ankles and roll into a tabletop position. So we'll quickly and efficiently warm up the spine here. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, toes tucked under. Go for a cow pose on your inhale, lift and open the throat. See if you can press the palms down and slightly magnetize them towards your knees as you open your throat a little bit more, breath in. Breath out, keep the, cat's, the cow spine, lengthen forward, bend your elbows, go chaturanga, but keep the butt up so it's like ashtangasana. 
and then keep the balls of the feet grounded, shift your knees back a little bit, lift and open the chest into an upward facing dog variation. And then on your exhale, you'll send your hips back to your heels, extended child's pose, forehead to the mat. Let's go like that two more times. Heart up, cow pose, inhale. Keep the cow spine, lengthen forward, bend your elbows, lower your chest. Up dog, oh, sorry, cobra, inhale, pull the chest up, keep the knees down, the balls of the feet down, feet. And exhale, hips back to heels, extend your arms to straight. Okay, one more, cow pose, inhale, open the throat. Exhale, ashtangasana. Inhale, cobra pose, big breath. Exhale, buttocks to heels, extended child's pose. Take a full breath in, a complete breath out. And this time, look forward. Move forward, high plank, top of a push-up. You can ground your hands firmly under your shoulders if they've moved. Pause here for a moment, protract the shoulders. Engage the legs by lifting the kneecaps and send your heels back. Breath in, breath out, downward facing dog. Let's take a deep breath in the down dog and a deep breath out as you stretch and ground your body. Good, on your next inhale, rise to the balls of your feet, bend your knees and bend, uh, lower your belly to your thighs, look long and forward, take an inhale, and then on your exhale, step or jump, feet outside of the hands for Malasana, sink your buttocks down, bring your hands into your heart space and just take a moment here, press elbows into inner knees, elongate the spine, breath in. Breath out, it's a forward fold, so toes in, heels out slightly, hang the head, relax the neck the shoulders, the jaw. And slowly ground your feet, rise up with your arms, take a deep breath in, sweep the arms up. And then on your exhale, bend your knees, goal post your arms and just find a little bit of an open chest pose here as you feel the shoulder blades pull down the length of the spinal column, the throat opens and the ears curl back. And then rise up with your arms, take a deep breath in, hands up and above you. And then on your exhale, hinge at your hips, send your butt back like you're going into a chair pose, bring your hands into your heart and continue to go all the way down until you're laying in your bent knee Navasana, your hands at your breastplate. And then you're going to take your hands behind your head, lower all the way down with your head and shoulders, just but keep your head lifted and stay here for your exhale. And we're just going to do a couple little crunches. So inhale, elbows to knees, squeeze, make yourself into a little ball, see if you can lift your buttocks up. And then exhale, extend the legs forward and maybe lean the head into the support of the hands. Just two more. Inhale, lift and squeeze and round. Exhale, extend forward, maybe open the elbows a little bit, support the head. One more. Inhale, lift and squeeze, maybe tailbone rises. Exhale, feet forward, open the chest. All right. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Stay for your exhale. Next inhale, extend your arms forward and then see if you can propel yourself all the way up, pass through a little squat. And then on your next exhalation, you'll take your hands behind you and find an interlace forward fold. Ground your feet, soften your face, soften your jaw, and just feel that lovely opening of your shoulders. We're here for three, for two, for one, bend your knees, extend your arms forward, deep squat breath in. Exhale, hands down to the mat, fold. Take a halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, step back, high plank. Inhale to the high plank. Exhale, Ashtangasana, knees, chest, chin. This time, pull up into a hanging cobra. Come into the balls of the feet. Broaden out your chest. Get stable here, your hands, your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out, downward facing dog. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, release. Okay, again, other side. Balls of feet rise. Bend knees, belly, to thighs. Look forward, breathe in, step or hop feet to Malasana, exhale, hands into the heart, inhale, wider forward fold, exhale, toes in, heels out. Ground your feet, rise up with your arms, take a deep breath, sweep them skyward, exhale, bend your knees, goal post your arms, open your chest. Arms above you, hands in prayer, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, send your butt back, prayer to hands. Continue to sit all the way until you take those hands behind your head for crunching. Little crunches. Okay, just three more of these. Inhale, elbows to knees. Exhale, toes forward, head back slightly. For two, inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, extend. For one, inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, extend. 
Lift and squeeze, inhale, release your arms forward on your exhale. On your next inhale, find some momentum. Separate your feet, interlace your hands, the non-habitual grip behind your back as you fold. Full breath in. Relax into the shape on your exhale. All right, butt down, arms forward, deep squat, breathe. Hands to the mat, breathe out. Halfway lift chest, inhale, step it back, high plank. Into the high plank, Ashtangasana, exhale, knees, chest, chin. Hanging cobra, full breath, lift and open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Fully in, fully out. All right, let's find our flow now. Two rounds, one slower, the other a little quicker. And then, and then maybe our peak pose. Okay, let's go. Rise to the balls of your feet, take an inhale. Bend your knees, send your bellies to your thighs. So just get nice and in the squat-like shape here. Strong, straight arms. And then shift your body forward, high plank. So protract the shoulders, think cat pose there. Breathe in. Hanging cobra, breathe out. Lower the hips, lift the heart. Okay, now firm the left foot, firm the palms. Lift the right toes up, but extend through that right leg. Feel the glute switch on. So you're really using the leg to reach back. Also pull your navel to your spine to protect your lower back. Breathe in. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose. Breathe out. Shoot it back. Inhale, open the chest, send the leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze. It's like a counter pose. One more, leg back, heart up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze, and step the foot outside of the palm. Lower your left knee down, elevate this right arm, open it out to the right, and take a couple little circles into your rotations with your wrist. Then open the chest a little bit more. On your exhale, you'll lighten the le lift, left hand off the mat. Reach your right arm back for a vertical twist, spreading wide through your fingers, rotating the right, left side of the chest to the right. Breathe in. And on your exhale, dip it back. Hand to calf muscle behind the knee or heel and spread and breathe into the left side of the body. Inhale here. On your exhale, release your left hand down, lift your left knee, lift your right arm back up to the ceiling for an easy twisting lunge. And then on your next exhale, ground your hand inside of the foot. Okay, look forward, breathe. Left hand is going to, left foot is going to step outside of the left hand. Straighten that left leg, keep it straight. Keep the right knee bent, the right elbow inner calf or knee connection. And then use that to twist and open to the left. Spreading and open through the collarbones. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold slightly. Straighten in both legs. Okay, now firm the left foot more to the midline. Your weight bearing on that foot. You're going to rise up, bent right knee, right elbow, right inside the inner knee. Like they're magnetized together. Lift the crown of the head. Firm the left glute in and down to the sole of the left foot. Breathe in here. And then on your exhale, figure four, right ankle, left knee. Send your heart forward, your hips back. Keep breathing, enjoy that stretch, feel the pulling of the outer left hip, right hip back. Okay, now rise back up, keep this right knee bent. You're going to continue to keep the right knee bent, squeezing the heel into the buttocks. And then bend your left knee slightly. And then on your inhale, can you extend your arms forward, your leg back? So you can bend your left knee here for nice stability. Try to keep your hip line level. Let's go again. Bend your right knee, squeeze it to the buttocks. Bring your hands into your heart. Exhale, extend the leg, extend the arms. It's tough. One more. Hands to heart. Squeeze in. Testing your balance. Exhale, leg back, arms forward. Now take a deep breath in here. On your exhale, land the ball of the right foot. Look that it lands precisely on the right side of the mat. Come high onto the ball of that right foot. Lift your arms up. And then on your exhale, bend your right knee. Bend your elbows. Open your chest. Tuck your tailbone down. Lift your crown. Shoot it forward for a pyramid variation. So arms will go forward like you're reaching for a big ball. Pull the outer left hip back. Soft face. And then come back up, bending both knees and bending your elbows, tucking your tailbone. One more like that. Lean forward, breathe in. Exhale, bend. This time, lean forward, take a deep breath in. Lengthen forward, pull that outer left hip back. And then on your exhale, bend everything until your right knee melts to the mat and you find Anjaneyasana opening the chest. And then let's lift the fingertips up on your inhale. Reach and open up through the upper back and the sides of the body. 
And then on your exhale, draw your hands down, and here we go. You're going to put your hands down, knee down, slip out that left leg, so you can send it back to a one-legged tabletop position. Firm your palms down. Now bend your left knee, squeeze the heel to the glute, and lift up the heel. So feel the, the left glute switch on. You can take a little pulse there if you like. But you're lifting with the inner thigh and the strength of the glute. Breathe in. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose. Again, inhale, maybe you curl your ears back here like a cow pose in the inhale. And exhale, cat pose, round and arch. All right, inhale, lift and open the throat. On your exhale, your right foot will tuck, your toes will tuck under, and you will straighten that right leg. And at the last minute, straighten the left leg. Get a nice stretch there as you spread through the toes. Inhaling here, come to the ball of the right foot. Exhale, once again, bend left knee, squeeze to buttocks and take it forward, left knee to the left elbow. Now pause here, inhale. Right ankle steps above the left knee for figure four down dog. Press your hips back, straighten your arms, and just feel now into the stretch on the left. One more breath in here. On your exhalation, left knee to left wrist for half pigeon. You're gonna come down. If this left hip is lifting up high, you can take one of your blocks and place it underneath. Also, the angle is important, so the more the right, left heel is to the right side of the hip, the more of an angle this is, the easier it is to access, and then come down into your pose. Just take three simple breaths here. All right, to come out, hands are down. We will return here, so don't worry. Tuck the toes under nice and strong. High plank. And Ashtangasana on your exhale, or your vinyasa of choice. Hanging cobra or up dog. And downward facing dog. Lift up, press back, stretch your body. Okay, other side. High plank, ripple forward. Lower hips, lift hard, hanging cobra. Left foot lifts up, breathe in, kick through the heels, spread through the toes from the right kneecap. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Again, lower hips lift hard, breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, squeeze. One more, extend the leg, lift the chest, breathe. Left knee to the elbow, hold, and step the foot outside of the palm, melt the right knee down, and elevate this left arm, rotating out through the wrist. Okay, and then from here, firm that left foot down. Come out of your flexibility a little bit, like a right angle with that left leg. And then dip it back, opening the chest here. Giant breath in. Giant breath out. And then from here, slowly, you're going to release the right hand down. Lift the right knee, open into an easy twisting lunge, opening the chest. And then exhale, left hand inside of left foot. Look forward, breathe. Right foot outside of right hand, then straighten that right leg and straighten the right arm, open up into your twist. Should feel good, one more breath. Exhale, fold down. Okay, walk your right foot a little bit in, keep this left elbow in a knee connection and stand all the way up for like a hovering tree pose. Hands to heart, strong right leg, lifted crown, breathe. Exhale, left ankle, right knee, figure four your legs and send your butt back. Whoa, I'm feeling super wobbly today. And your heart forward. Okay, let's come up for that little bend extend. So inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, keep the, the heel pulling in towards the buttocks. Lengthen your body forward. Everything can remain bent here. This right knee can be bent. You're lifted through the crown. Now you extend the leg, the arms, inhale. Exhale, you'll bend the knee, bring the hands to the heart, exhale. Again, extend. And bend. One more, extend, now hold that one, kick through the heel, reach through the palms, breathe in. Exhale, land the ball of the left foot, lift your arms all the way up. And then those gold post arms as you bend the left knee, opening up the chest. Modified pyramid, inhale, lengthen forward, pull your right hip back. Exhale, bent knee, lunge, open the chest. Extend, breathe in, lift and bend, breathe out. One more, extend, inhale, exhale, bend, pause here and melt the left knee to the mat. Setting up for your Anjane Asana, padding that left knee if needed. And then inhale, lift and open your chest out and up towards the ceiling. 
And then on your exhale, place your palms down, shift your hips back, sneak out this right leg, one-legged tabletop. Be nice to stretch that right leg out now. Okay, bend the knee, lift the heel, breathe in, exhale round and curl and squeeze. Again, inhale, maybe lift and open the throat. Exhale, squeeze and round. One more, lift, open up. Exhale, squeeze and round. This time, inhale, lift up, tuck the left toes under, straighten the left leg, and at the last minute, extend, should feel so nice, that right leg to straight. Bend the right knee, squeeze in. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, pause. Figure four, down dog, ankle above knee, and press it back. Press it back and elongate your arms. Full breath here. Full breath out. Look forward, inhale. Let the left thigh propel the right knee to the right wrist for your half pigeon as you extend and fold over the legs. Supporting yourself as necessary here. Three breaths. Okay, let's slowly come out, ground your hands, tuck your toes under, strong high plank, breathe. Exhale this time, knees, chest, chin, pause. Find a cobra on your inhale and press it back to an extended child's pose on your exhale. So you can rest there for a moment if you need a sip of water. Go ahead and grab one because the next round we're going to move into our final pose and then we're going to wind it down. So just a short and sweet but pretty fiery practice today. Now that you know the sequence, it's quite nice to move more fluidly through it. Okay, so once you've caught your, your breath or come back to your breath, we're simply going to do the same sequence again, adding on one or two things. All right, when you're ready, hands down, hips up, downward facing dog. Let's go, full stretch. All right, so together, balls of feet rise, bend knees, belly to thighs, take a forward high plank, inhale, find a smooth transition, exhale, lower your hips, lift your heart. Just one time, right leg rises, breathe in. Knee to nose, breathe out, squeeze, and then step the foot outside of the palm. Melt the left knee down, open the right arm up, and then move right into your, easy, your vertical twist, inhale. Exhale, hand towards the calf muscle. Now we'll just add on one thing here, take a breath in. On your exhale, draw your left hand down, bend your left knee and place the heel into the palm of the hand. Press the heel into the palm, the palm into the heel and open up that left side of the chest. Three, two, one, let it go. Let's add on a half Hanumanasana, but in wide shape. Hips back, just getting a nice little stretch through that right leg. Press down and pull back the right heel as you find length in your spine. Lizard lunge, hands down, lift your left knee, look forward. Exhale, left foot steps out of left hand. Lift the left arm, straighten that left leg, take a deep breath in. Now on your exhale here, you can just bring your left hand to your chest, wiggle the left foot into the midline, stand on that left foot, rise up, and then your right hand will meet your left hand at your heart. Lift the crown, breathe. Figure four, exhale, heart forward, hips back. Come to standing, inhale. Heel to buttocks, lengthen forward, bend your left knee, exhale. One time, heel back, arms forward. So can you feel how that activation in the glute and the leg allows you to find more balance and stability in the pose? Breathe, land the ball of the right foot, open your arms up to the ceiling, inhale, and then on your exhale here, so, sorry, so wobbly. It's so interesting how every day is a totally different practice day. Exhale, the knee bends and the heart opens. Modified pyramid, just one time, lengthen forward, inhale, straightening your left leg. Exhale, bend your elbows, open the chest and melt all the way down. Reach your fingertips up to the ceiling, open up for your last Anjaneyasana here. And on your exhale, plant your palms, shift your hips, sneak out your left leg. Left heel to buttocks, inhale. Little lift for your exhale. Knee to nose, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, lift the leg, tuck the right toes under, rise all the way up, straightening out that left leg, big stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, knee bends again, knee to left elbow, hold, figure four, ankle above knee, press back. Three, two, and one, look forward, left knee, left wrist, sit down. Okay, so here you may need to support yourself with a foam under your outer hip. What we're going to do is a couple things. So you can bend your right knee and hold 
the, just give yourself a little bit of a quad stretch. So um, the back, back asana variation is to flip the elbow, turn the toes forward and just place your palm of the hand on top of the toes facing forward and get a deep stretch through your quad. So that's an option. It's also an option to lengthen forward and just take a half pigeon or maybe even a half pigeon twist. Those of you that have Ekapada Raja Kapatasana in your practice, you want to make sure that you can sit up nice and comfortably here with your hips nice and level. If they're not, you've got a foam. And then you will bend your right knee you'll find that same contraction of squeezing the heel in, the hamstrings come online. Hold the outer edge of the right foot with your right hand. Now see if you can, you can use your left hand to lift that right elbow to the ceiling, and then maybe you could hold the top of the foot of the right hand with the left hand too, and move into your shape. And then when you're ready to let go, slowly and with utmost control, letting go and lengthening forward here just for a moment. Pause and settle and feel into that work. Okay, and then let's slowly move it back for our last sequence. Hands down, left foot meets the right, high plank. You can skip the vinyasa or take one of your choice, anyone. Downward facing dog, we meet. All right, you guys, we've got one more, lo one more, one more lounge. <laughs> one more round until we can lounge. Come to down dog, come to stillness. Rise to the balls of your feet, bend your knees, send your bellies to meet your thighs. Shift it forward, high plank. Lower your hips, lift your heart, hanging cobra. Right, left leg rises, breathe in. Knee to nose, breathe out, squeeze. Step the foot outside the palm, melt right knee down. Left arm rises, and then continue that trajectory until you're in an open twist. Breathe in, little back bend here, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, bending this right knee. Place the hand on the heel, maybe lower your right forearm down if you did on the other side, and pull the heel in, but press the heel away. Open left shoulder, roll right shoulder from ear. It's three, two, good stretch there of the quad, activating the hamstrings. This is the same feeling you want to feel in your king pigeon. And then release, long half splits, nice little break there for the left leg. You can always bounce a little bit. Lizard lunge, creep forward, lift your right knee, look forward. Exhale, right foot outside of right hand, then lift the right hand, straighten right leg, twist. Breathe. And then you can just bring your right hand into the heart space, shift your right foot into the middle a little bit, weight there on that right foot, stand up as best you can. Lift the crown, and then figure four. Go quite nice and strongly into the shape, feeling the adduction of the inner thighs, Inner groin's back, maybe in a little anterior tilt of the tail. And then we rise up. Chest forward, heels to buttocks, lean forward. Okay, so get, you can bend your right knee. You can feel is your pelvis, your sacrum level. You're going to try and keep that. And then on your inhale, extend the leg, the arms. Land the foot. Lift the arms up, take a nice deep breath. Go post your arms on your exhale, open your chest. Go forward, modified pyramid, breath in. Exhale, left knee down, opens your heart. Go all the way into Anjani Asana, melting down. All right, lift the palms up, big breath. Last time in this shape, you can do any variation. And then on your exhale, hands down, hips back, right leg sneaks out. Bend the knee, squeeze the heel to the buttocks, breathe in. Exhale, lift the heel higher. Knee to nose, inhale, squeeze. Exhale, lift the heel, tuck the left toes, rise up and straighten the right leg. And breathe in here. Exhale, bend the knees, squeeze, right knee, right elbow, figure four. Pause for a moment, feel that delicious stretch on the right side. And then look forward and propel yourself forward, right knee, right wrist, for your half pigeon. Okay, so again, variations here, you can bend the knee you can try and flip the grip by lifting the left elbow to the ceiling, curling your toes forward and your hands towards your torso, maybe resting your right forearm there and just getting a delicious stretch in the quad. Otherwise, just lengthen forward into half pigeon or 
hold the outer edge of the left foot with your left hand. You can use your right hand to tilt the elbow up, and then maybe the right hand can meet on the foot. You're gonna root your hips, root your lower body, lift and open the chest. Knit the lower ribs slightly in and pull your navel to your spine. Breathe, and slowly, when you're ready, release. Take three more breaths in whatever position, more restorative position you've chosen. All right, and then rise up, and this is your rinse cycle. So here, if you were in a deep back bend, you want to go quite strongly into your core, so strong high plank, and then you can press back to down dog or take a, a final vinyasa of your choice. I quite like to take a little twist in a hanging cobra after a deeper back bend, get a little bit of a spinal release, and then it's downward facing dog. So it's the last one, and you spread your hands and your feet down, and forward with the hands down and back with the feet. Lengthen your torso, lengthen your legs, ground your body. Good, and then rise to the balls of the feet, look forward. On your exhale, step or jump. You can practice your bunny hops here if you like. Using that fine sim, squeeze the heels to the buttocks feeling and jumping all the way forward. Um, feet outside of the hands for Malasana. Okay, and then from here, just have a little seat down. I'll take one final maybe one or two final little back bends. We're gonna take the left hand behind us. We're gonna place the fingers to face the back of the mat, ground your feet, and then lift your hips as you reach the right arm up. So it's like you're going into a flip of the dog, but it's a little bit more accessible. Your left shoulder rolls down and away from your ear. And then sit your butt down. And then just do one of those to the right. So the right hand back, fingers face back of mat, roll right shoulder from ear, firm that, lift your hips. Gigantic breath. And then lower down. Okay, good. And then from here, let's just take a nice symmetric or hip opener, Baddha Konasana. You can hold the outer edges of the feet, lengthen the torso forward. You can go as deep as you like here. But always with the awareness of firming the inner feet together, finding a slight adduction of your inner thighs to keep your hip flexors and outer hips safe. Big breath in. Big breath out. All right, and then slowly rise up. Hold underneath the knees, ground your feet, and set your buttocks all the way down onto your mat. You can rest in constructive rest for a moment, or you can take one wheel pose with me, if that's in your practice. Hands down, feet down, lift the heart. So all the engagements we've been doing, feet down and forward, lightly firming the glutes, wrapping the elbows into the midline, and looking for more length, then height here, so chest through the line of the arms, relaxed face, slight core awareness. Hold for as long as you like. I'm gonna go two more breaths. And then slowly come down into the top of the head and meet everybody else in the virtual classroom in constructive rest with the knees knocking in. Okay, just settle there for just a moment and locate your block. I'm gonna place your block underneath the sacrum and it's flat. And then from here, we will bring right knee into the chest and left knee into the chest. And you can just extend and bend your legs just for a moment, maybe roll out your ankles. It's getting a nice little elevation of the pelvis. We will twist out deep back benders. This is a really nice pose just to get a little bit of draining through the lymph, taking the work off the legs. And then bend your right knee, bring it to your chest and extend your left leg long around the heel. And then you can slowly do the same thing on the right. So you're just extending your legs, but elevating your pelvis and you're just creating this lovely softness here through the belly and liberating really the lower back by finding that nice stretch through the hip flexors. Just pause and absorb for a moment.
Okay, and then from here you can bend your knees, lift the bum up off the mat, take a bridge pose to counter, hands down, hips up just a moment here, nice, firm, symmetrical pose. Chest to chin, and then release, iron upper back, middle back, lower back down. And then let's take the feet back into constructive work rest and just windshield the, wipe the legs from side to side. And then you can let them fall all the way to one side. So it depends if you've got a deep, if you really need a deeper twist here for your back bending, you're welcome to. Otherwise, ankle above knee. It's a nice release here through the lumbar. Three breath. Okay, and then slowly slip off the ankle to knee connection, move to the other side, find the ankle to knee connection. One more big breath into the left lower back, side body. Mm, stay for your exhale. All right, and then slip that off. It's nice to give yourself a little rock side to side, a little hug. And then, of course, if you are feeling for your Shavasana, this is the perfect place for it. So you can lay your body down, rest. I would advise resting even with a little pillow under your legs to elevate your pelvis. But just enjoy and soak up your practice. And as always, thank you so much for practicing with me.